Our Amazon trip was an eye-opening experience. The sights, the smells, the tastes. But we can't put it all into our videos, so you have to go see it for yourself. You have to be in it. If you do go to the Amazon, we hope you have a tour guide as special as Magno. He made this trip a life-changing experience. When we first met Magno, we knew we would get along. He has a really chill vibe to him. He doesn't talk a lot, but when he does, it's definitely something meaningful to share. Out looking at plants and animals on the Amazon, if you didn't get a good look at it, he'd pull up a professional photograph on his phone, tell you an interesting story, and sometimes talk to you about the science behind it. He's constantly learning, and you know, despite the many years that he's been you know, being a tour guide, he's very modest and just says that you know, he learns something every tour. To me, the most impressive thing is that he speaks five languages and he's learning a sixth, Chinese. You know, we spent a half an afternoon exchanging Japanese kanji with uh, the, the, the Chinese characters. And he just kept on saying that, oh, we have that in Japanese kanji. Uh, you should learn Japanese. It would be so easy for you. You know what? It never occurred to me before, but here is this guy learning a difficult language against all odds on his own. I'm just so impressed by his drive to do better and learn. We went to the Amazon to see animals, but we came back with much more knowledge. Magna walked us through primary and secondary forests and told us that if the primary forests are slashed and burned, then only secondary forest will grow back. But if secondary forest is cut down and burned, too many times, nothing except for pasture will come back. All that biodiversity will disappear. That shook us so much that we went home and researched and we figured out that it was true and we were never aware of how much forest was being lost every year permanently. Mm. Magno has seen the worst. He grew up on a cacao farm in Para State, where deforestation is so horrible. His people's only source of income was agriculture. That's why they had to slash and burn. But he also told us a lot about the people that lived near our jungle lodge and how their lives changed in a better way when tourism came. Magno cares about his people and he's not shy to voice his opinions when he thinks that they're not being paid uh, fairly. And I really love that. Um, at the end of the tour, I gave him a tip and asked him to share it with his uh, local partner, Fabiano. And I pretty much left, him, left it up to him as to how he wants to split it. Turns out he pretty much split it even with Fabiano and Fabiano was not expecting so much and it made him and his family very happy. And that just proved to me that Magno is a fair and caring guy and he will do the right thing. After a few days on the tour, we got to know Magno better and he shared his dream with us. He had always wanted to buy a large parcel of land over 80 acres of primary forest and preserve it for tourism. This could help his mother and his brother leave the hard life of the cacao farm. He also wanted to add his own twist to the lodge to show his love and the magic of the Amazon. This was almost a reality in 2020, but two large tour groups were canceled and he wasn't able to secure enough funding to buy the land. But then the pandemic hit he didn't go into too much details of how he survived those couple of years, other than the fact that it was hard. Tourism in Brazil completely dried up and the economy was also hard hit. His wife 
also lost her job as well and they were barely able to scrape by living off of savings and he did some occasional odd job as a English translator. But when it comes to his dreams, Magno is not one to easily give up. He actually told me the story of, of how his uh, first job as a tour guide turned into a disaster when he didn't receive proper training. But because it was his dream at the time to be a tour guide, he didn't stop trying. He just went back even after a setback. And with his this dream of preserving a plot of primary forest, he isn't going to give up either. And he said he just have to keep on trying. When we heard about Magno's dream, we were like, hey, we could help. We did lots of fundraisers at home for the red pandas, for the school garden, for the Burundi goats, and we thought we could be a part of this. This is very personal to us because we've seen the wildlife and played with the people that we want to help. Most importantly, we know Magno. He has the kindness and knowledge to do the right thing and the perseverance to make this happen. After we fundraise, we want to go back and see the land for ourselves and help him build an eco-friendly lodge. That way, we can bring our friends with us and help Magno fulfill his dream of bringing as many people to see the Amazon for themselves. When we first suggested fundraising for him, he was really excited about it. But he didn't just want to take people's money. He kept on saying, but they'll come and they'll see the Amazon, right? They'll come and visit. I need to show them the magic of this place. Please consider donating to the GoFundMe page below. You can also help by sharing this video or the GoFundMe page. We have never felt so strongly about a cause. A cause that can make a big difference with animal and people lives.